Hi, this is Riyan from Must Be Noob. In this lab guide, I'll be configuring time-based policy in Checkpoint Firewall RET1. Using time object as a condition in firewall rule, you can create such policies which will apply during specific time duration only. Time objects can be defined for specific times or for specific days. The days can further be divided into days of the month or specific days of the week. Let me show you the lab topology which I am going to use in this lab guide. Uh, already I have configured hide behind the gateway NAT with required access control rules for this LAN segment. All the client computers are connected to the internet and can access the websites anytime. For that, I want to create time-based policy so then they can only access the internet during the specified time duration. Uh, this is the Windows 7 computer which is part of the LAN segment. So first I'm going to check uh, internet connectivity on this Windows 7 computer. First of all, I'm going to click on Internet Explorer and let's access the website google.com. As you can see, this Windows 7 computer can access google.com website without any issue. That proves that this LAN segment is connected with internet. Now let's go to Windows 10 virtual machine where I have installed the smart console dashboard. In the first step, I'm going to create new time object with custom time duration. And for that, under object categories, you need to click on a time objects. Let's click on time. And here you can see some predefined time object there are total three time objects already created on checkpoint RET1 firewall. To create a new custom time object, you need to click on new, select more, select time, and then select time. Enter a name for this time object. Here I am giving name only during working hours. In the time period section, you can configure when the time object activates and when it is going to expire. In the restrict to specific R range section, you can specify up to three ranges when the time object enforces the rule. During this period, the related rule is enforced. The time specified here refers to the local time on the security gateway. After that, you have an option to specify days, means the days when the time object enforces the rule. The time object can be enforcing the rule each day, means daily or days in a week or specific month or all month and that you can select here fine see you can define the settings as per your requirement for the testing purpose i'm going to specify our range to nine to five from monday to friday so i'm going to select this box and here i'm going to add nine up to five it is going to 17 and here I'm going to select days in a week that is going to be from Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday and Friday. Fine. So again, I want to remind you that for the testing purpose, I'm going to specify 9 to 5 from Monday to Friday. Now I'm going to click on OK to create this new time object. OK, here we are receiving one error. The time object name cannot be more than 11 character. Let's click on OK. Perfect. So I have created a one time object with the name MBN of working. Now let's click on policy to create or modify the policy rule. And for that, we need to click on security policies and then we need to click on policy. Already I have created a few access control rules to allow internet access in the internal LAN network. I'll modify the existing policy to apply the policy based on the settings defined in the time object. And for that, uh, I'm not going to specify that time object for DNS traffic, for NTP. I just want to apply that time object for this rule, which is allowing access to websites using HTTP and HTTPS service. Let's right click on uh, track. And here we need to select time. So let's select the checkbox and after that we will have a new column with the name time. Fine. 
Now let's uh, click on this plus sign to add a time object. Here I'm going to select the newly created time object, which is MBN of working. So let's select it. And if you want to add time object for DNS and NTP traffic as well, uh, that time simply you need to select and drag and drop that a time object to other rules as well. Fine. Now I'm going to click on publish to save the changes. Click on publish. And let's click on install policy to push this policy onto our security gateway. Okay, let's click on details. Fine. Let's click on close. Now let's test the policy by accessing internet on Windows 7 computer again. Uh, first of all, let me show the current time of this Windows 7 virtual machine. Let's click on date and time. And the current time is 8.47 am. Let me close it. And according to the rule, right now this Windows 7 computer cannot access the internet. Let's again try to access the google.com website. Let's wait for a few seconds. As you can see, right now this Windows 7 computer is not able to access google.com website. Why? Due to the rule which we have created on our checkpoint firewall. Let's again go back to the Windows 10 computer. And I also want to check the logs. And for that, select the rule number 3 and click on logs. Here, let's double click on the log entry. Okay, you can see. Now let's click on match rule and it is matching with the network rule. Action is accept, but due to that time restriction, right now Windows 7 computer is not able to access the internet. Uh, let me remove this time object. Let's uh, remove it. Let's click on publish. Let's click on install policy. Click on install. Click on details. Perfect. Now let's again check internet connectivity on our Windows 7 computer. And this time, this Windows 7 computer can access the website google.com without any issue. That means we have successfully configured time-based policy in Checkpoint Firewall RET1. Thank you all for watching. See you all in the next lab guide.